I'm Ross Calabrese, executive editor of the Herald Star and the Weirton Daily Times, and I'm joined with some very special people today to help promote a very special event that's set for 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. February 11th right here from the Herald Star Newsroom. Ross, it's uh, good to be back once again for our annual United Way Webathon. That's right. Paul G. Anamore, our blogger, copy desk uh, uh, person, you know, blogger, blogger extraordinaire. I do things around here. Right. He does things around here. Editorial writer will be joining me as co-host for the fifth annual event. And I'm joined uh, right now with Corey Wingett, who is chairman of this year's campaign for the Jefferson County United Way. Corey, tell us a little bit about what we can expect to see. Well, first of all, we uh, appreciate the Herald Star's support in this year's uh, Webathon. Mm-hmm. We're going to have various volunteers from the United Way organization along with the Herald Star team doing our best to uncover all stones possible in order to support this year's campaign. Mm-hmm. Paul, who, and Paul, and who do you have? <coughs> I'm here with uh, Beth <laughs> Rupert Warren, who is yeah. the executive director of the United Way of Jefferson County. Beth, where are we in the campaign, and what do we need from this webathon this year? This year, our campaign currently we're at sixty percent of our goal. We've got well over a hundred thousand dollars that we need to raise yet between now and actually the end of February. So we're, we've only got a few weeks here. So we're going to be making a lot of phone calls. We want people to call in the United Way, make their pledges. We want them to get on and watch the webathon. It's a it's a good evening of entertainment and camaraderie in our community. We we always have a lot of fun, but we're dealing with some very serious issues here in our community. And, and we're trying to raise money to be able to meet the, the needs of those that, that have so many needs here in our community. In relation to previous campaigns, are we in a tighter spot at this point in time than normal? or? I think we're, we're in a tighter spot than, than we were, say, in the previous couple years. Um, obviously, $440,000 is a lot of money to raise, um, given where our economic climate is. But um, in the past, the community's always come together. And I think what's important here, too, is, is the money that's raised has stayed here locally. I want people to know that. And again, um, we're very diligent to make sure that the money that we disperse in the community, that, mo- that money is going directly to those that, that have the needs. And together, it's all about building a stronger, safer, healthier Jefferson County. Thanks, Beth. Ross, so what do we have in store for that evening? We have much in store. There's going to be some entertainment. Beth is always good at supplying props, uh, feather boas. and, and, and I have a wig just for you, Paul. It's coming. <laughs> I have a wig just for you. Am I yeah, McC- it will be Dolly Paul here. I was, I was hoping I could go McCutcheon or Paul Amalu. Oh, well, hey, we could always paint it. <laughs> we could have a contest and paint Paul's head. <laughs> right, and, and, and we're going to have fun. And yeah. that's what it's all about. But but we're also going to be doing something very serious, and that's ha- helping to bring this campaign home. As as you know, Beth and Corey have said, uh, the need is great. The campaign is nearing the end, and, and and hopefully, thanks to the events like the Webathon, where we'll be calling people from around the community and and making sure they've made their last minute donations. Um, hopefully, we'll we'll be able to. Uh, complete this campaign very shortly and people are also and and you know if if you're watching wednesday night and you don't get called the option to call our united way office during that time will be there at 740-284-9000 we'll have volunteers on hand Mm -hmm. there at the united way so you'll be able to call and make a donation final thoughts Corey? yeah i'd um just like to say it take some time to really educate yourself on what the united way really does for our community all that information can be found on our website or by calling the office but once you look into how our united way impacts the community and what they actually support i think you'll learn something and you'll be surprised and anxious to support the cause too cool <coughs> bethany anything to add well again um The word unity is in community, and often people forget that. So, again, we have to come together because all the answers to our problems are right here in the community, and we just need to work together to to get to the root cause and eliminate some of the things that are going on. So um, we just hope people will tune in and watch and call. And, and again, thank you, Harold Starr, and to both of you for your commitment uh, to our community. So thanks. We'll see you on Wednesday evening, 6 to 7.30. Right, right here at HeraldStarOnline.com.